put on wit, then you just shit out of luck. Do what, what you gonna do, 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 do what I tell exactly. my partner, right? What that even mean? Do what I tell my partner, right? I said, listen here, bro. Check this out. Some people got the hustle, but never get the opportunity. Some people got the opportunity, but, but don't hustle. got the hustle. Uh, yeah. You dig what I'm saying? The motherfuckers who had the hustle never got the opportunity that with me. I always had to hustle, so when I got the opportunity, nigga, all I did was put my hustle into it, so I ain't gonna go crazy with it. These niggas be having the opportunity, but be playing with it, cause well, they ain't got no hustle. They, they, think they, think it's the back of that. they think it's just gonna be here. And they you don't understand. The, hustle enough, the opportunity presents itself. I mean, but that's the thing. It's like the the. But some niggas give up though, and don't really understand is when is okay. All right, I'm gonna be. The opportunity is not for them. All right, no, 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 not really understand. Niggas don't be understanding what's the opportunity. Very true. I almost missed it. With divine shit, point blank shit, point okay. blank period. We we just gonna say a fucking phone, bro. A fucking phone. All I had to do was pick up a fucking phone, bro. I'm so street. I know how to sell dope. Yeah, I got the hustle, but I'm, I'm so street. I'm like fuck that phone shit, bro. Right. I'm about to goddamn not knowing. I'm about to miss the opportunity. But people. That was it. Now people think. I had the hustle. I'm about to miss it though. Right. Cause I was I, I was not quote unquote scared, but I, in my mind I'm I'm such of a street nigga. So what, what is did this? You eventually fuck with it. I ain't had no choice. But this, I'm more so like my back against the wall. Did you see other people doing it? It wasn't that. It wasn't. It wasn't that. What it was doing, it wasn't uncomfortable because that's what who I was. That's just like what I'm asking is, did your hustle lead you to a place where you couldn't help but fuck with it? It was yeah. So yeah, then that's the difference because that hustle. No, not have, not really because I could have kept that being hustle, a street nigga. No, I could have kept you being a street nigga. You could have. You could have. I really you, could have. But you like, knew there was more. Your hustle told you there was more. If your hustle tells you there's more, the opportunity will find you. No, I went off faith. I went off faith. I didn't went off a of hustle. Okay. I went off faith because okay. of a, uh, because of just the circumstance of what I was going through at that time. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. I'm more so just like this a necessity. Fuck. Yeah, this is so a circumstance. Fuck. This is a necessity. yeah circumstance. You okay. dig what I'm saying? Like I'm okay. I'm I'm deep into this shit. Like I'm like, man, this is all I know, nigga. I ain't right. Doing this, I don't know what that is. But at the time, it's like this is what's going on, and wasn't no revenue coming from it. Wasn't no nothing. It was just like this is just something that's happening. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So I'm more so I'm just like. Man, I'm really like this, like, bro. What the fuck? Like, you really, you really finna do that? You finna do that? Like, you don't even know what social media is. I don't know what. I ain't even like MySpace. It was too much going on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm more so Instagram, Facebook, be seeing. Hey, what's up? I just want to see weed and all that. Right. I ain't trying to do nothing on nothing. I'm on there for what it was to try to find bitches and fuck hoes. That's it. Man, that shit came across, bro. And it was just like. To be honest, I see my I see my partner on World Star. This was it it why well, I was like, okay, it probably could go somewhere. I see my partner on World Star, and I'm the type of nigga that'll call the nigga and be like, hey but I see you doing good. You dig what I'm saying? Right. I'm right. fucked up at the time. I just called my partner, I said, bro, I don't know what you're doing or how you got on World Star, but continue. I see you. And he was like, bro, I've been telling nigga about the vine shit, bro. You need to do it. I'm like, man, you know what I'm on, bro. I'm on getting money shit, bro. I don't know what that is. You feel right. me? He like, bro, you need to do this shit. I ain't tripping. I ain't thinking nothing else of it. Don't give a fuck about nothing else. That, that ain't what I meant to. You feel me? I'm still trying to do this shit. He just was like, bro, just do the little fine shit. You feel me? Like, just try it. What's wrong with trying? One thing about me, I ain't never scared to try shit. You feel me? So he was just like, you scared? That kind of was like on some. Ah, let me show you that. I ain't. Well, let me see this. Let me see it. I did it on his shit. My first video, nigga. Oh, you driving with the sleep? Nope. I just said something about, uh, I said something about some pencils like I used to be in class like this. I'm looking for a pencil. That shit went nuts. I said, that's all they wanna see. <laughs> I said, and at that time I ain't have nothing. Like I'm so off the street where well, I'm like, ain't nobody doing no street shit. So I'm finna let the world know about all this hood shit was going on in the right, I'm gonna introduce these folks to the roaches. I'm gonna introduce these folks to how I'm living. I'm staying with my mom at the time. She hoarder. She's a hoarder. Nigga, my fan in my bed right here. <laughs> <laughs> dig what I'm saying? Like, for real, Palm. You did. That's the thing, Flat Up. The, I was showing them. I was showing them this, this real, nigga. What y'all? That's I'm what we mean about kid. the hustle, dog. This like, shit real. You that's being able to do hustle. that, that changed. Like, this having this piece of motherfucking equipment right here has changed the game, dog. And you being able to go on your phone and just show. Wah, wah, that's something you would have had to actually go out and do back in the day. These young niggas don't have no drive to get up and go out and do nothing. And the fucked up part is they think opportunity got to come with some money attached to it. 
Opportunity don't always have a check attached to it. And opportunity see, is opportunity. You create the check from the nigga giving you the opportunity. But young niggas, I know I'm over. When I ever go home to my neighborhood, all the young niggas is like, what I'm supposed to do? I have no yeah, idea what the fuck you're supposed to do. You, man, you need to be telling me what I'm supposed to do because you understand this shit better than I ever would. So you need to figure out your process and get this shit together and make it work because I can't give you no answers because I'm still figuring it out. And why, to your point, that opportunity was presented to everybody. If everybody had the same fucking phone in their hand, the same chance to get on Vine and do some shit, everybody had the same baseline opportunity. But your hustle makes it to where you take that shit and make it to something that they can't. It was, it was more so, it was, it's, I'm more so of a hustler and, and I observe. I pay attention and I don't really say shit. I don't really, it's like poker. You know what I'm saying? What you know, you act like you don't know. And what you don't know, you act like you know. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just, 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 just how the rules of the, of the, of the streets is. Absolutely. And it was just, it was too much going on, but I started to be like, this shit ain't happening for no reason. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, the numbers was going so fast. I was at 10,000 Thursday. I wake up in the morning, I'm at 45,000. I'm like, man, these are the, the police is watching me, man. <laughs> That's how I'm thinking. You dig what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck is this social media shit? I know these ain't real people. In my mind, bro, it took me a year to understand that them folks were real. Take I'm, I'm at a mid, I'm still in my head like, but these folks ain't real, bro. Ain't no way in hell I got these folks, I got these folks gravitating, and they really watching this shit. You know what I'm saying? But I just kept going though. I always tell my posse, bro, I'm gonna get a TV show out of this shit. I don't know what this is, but these folks is watching. That's just the dope game. That's, that's, that's all it is. You've been bagging up in your living room. I want to see. Do you know what it is? What do you guys got? You know what's stepped on or whatever the fuck? Sorry. Damn. Right in the middle of the storytelling. Damn, nigga. My fault. What happened? Yeah, you gotta keep up with him. For I forgot my train of thought. Nah, uh, no, you said it just like said it though. Oh, so exactly so you know you know what it is. You know if it's stepped on, whatever the fuck, what it's mixed with. But everybody else doesn't know. Your customer doesn't know that shit. All they know is you got the best shit that they've seen. And that's the thing though, everything come back and send it though for me, you feel what I'm saying? Like even though I wasn't no big Don't tell the white people that though. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I wasn't no big ass dope boy or kingpin, but in my mind that's what I wanted to be. Right. Cause that's why right. I was sending dope. You know what I'm saying? And I I know what a I can take a crumb, literally, I can I can take a crumb and make it seem like you working. You feel what I'm saying? Like I had a dope boy laugh at me when he found out how much I was really working. Mm. I can't I was coming back numerous of times, but he like, bro, why you are you smoking this shit? I was like, nah, I'm selling it. He started laughing at me. He like, bro, I know you ain't selling this. I said, but I'm selling it. He said, hold up, man. You tripping. Cause first of all, you making my trap hot because you keep coming back. Right. Uh, take that and come back. Came back. He was like, all right, take that. I was like, all right. He was like, all right, now take that. Came back. He was like, all right, now take that. You dig what I'm saying? Shit just get bigger and bigger, but this all for just working. And anyway, ha! We talking about a nigga. Now you got an opportunity, but. You got to work under certain circumstances. 100%. See, niggas don't know, understand that you might get your opportunity, but you got to work up under certain That's circumstances. That's because everybody thinks an opportunity is supposed to come hand tailored for the shit that they need it to be. They don't understand that opportunities come dressed as work. Opportunities come dressed as shit that you got to do to get through to the actual heart of the opportunity. They just think it's going to be, oh, opportunity's going to come, come to wild and out. 10, like 10 grand an episode off rip. Like, that's what they think opportunity is. And they gotta understand too, though. Like, they gotta understand that, like, all right, people that have it handed to them or whatever, that's because their family are in generations of money already. 100%. Their father, 100%. their father is, was the first generation of reaching six figures. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, right. I don't even, I'm not even the first nigga in my family to reach six figures. I, I know my daddy had it. And mm -hmm. just my sister spent all of it. You dig what I'm saying? So, in, but in my family mind, I'm the first nigga who reach a certain, you know what I'm saying, mark in the family. So it's like, I gotta take care of them. Right. You dig what I'm saying? But it's like, 100%. I'm not passing nothing down to them. They still gotta work. Ain't nothing. I'm showing them the way of how I got it. I'm like, look, you wanna be just like, uh? Let me show you how I did. You not seen me fuck up. Right. Y'all seen me fuck up, but you see me. Let me show you how I do. Well, you don't never be home while you working all day. Well, y'all to that same hustle, but I'm doing it. I ain't got no choice. Who gonna take care of y'all? Who gonna, who gonna make sure this shit right? Right. So somebody gotta do it when I ain't here. But who, that, but that, that the thing though, who doing it when I'm gone? That's what I wanna know. But that's what you have to teach. You have but to but that's the thing that. though, it's, it's being taught and being being formed and, and, it's, and it's starting to transition to a way like, okay, when we aren't gone, this shit gotta continue. Right. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely, that's the responsibility. But who, who gonna be the next generation? That the thing, cause shit, 
But it's easier though when you when you set the blueprint and lay down the foundation. It's easier. It's like oh, no, motherfucking it lazy. Nah, man. but it's but that you can't change the fact that that's the reality. It's it's like it's a double edged sword because you can see a motherfucker getting lazy. But do you want your child or your daughter to work as hard as you had to work to get with? Hell yeah. And the thing is, at least I inherit. I ain't saying I ain't saying I ain't saying work is hard. You gotta have that same drive in, in for the shit that you know. Well, you gotta create better opportunities. Yeah, that's right. it. I'm, I'm that's saying, listen, I'm saying, I'm saying, you you gotta have that same drive for the shit you that you know. You want them to know. work this hard, you don't want them to have to do what you had to do. You, you, you want to, first of all, first of all, life, it's you like, can't stop them from life. You they the gonna race. go through it. But you still put them in a different position. But this my thing. But like, this is what I'm saying. They don't have to, it's not, it's not more so. We fought for certain walls to be broke down. 100%. All the walls ain't gonna be broke down. You dig what I'm saying? But the thing, that's the perfect point. All the walls ain't gonna be broke down, but the wall, they gonna have to start breaking down to some shit that was light years away from where the fuck we come from. So they don't have to sure. go through the same mentality but, that we went through. But you gotta also understand it. They gotta also understand that the life that we give is different from the life we had coming up. Yeah, of course. You did what I'm saying. So just as life, you they're were not gonna understand. Life, they're not gonna understand your mentality of the shit that we got now because they, don't they got it. Not not saying they don't need to understand. They yeah. have to understand where we come from. This shit ain't. This shit just wasn't in. This shit damn near new. Very true. You feel what I'm saying? This Very shit true. damn near new. This shit only two three years. Right. Of of like okay, my family can like breathe and have somebody to count on. Right. Cause at the end, if if it ain't me, shit, everybody, all my folk in the hood, bro. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody, all my family in the hood. Every last one of them. That shit you posted with uh when you when you bought you bought moms a Yeah, I bought my mama crib. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. But now my my that. other people can actually be somewhere safer just in the hood. They just gotta wait their turn. Right. I can't get everybody right now. You, but 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 it, but it have some form of. Uh, 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 a sense of relief because they still know they got somebody like who, but we ain't on our ass. Mm. Even though we on our ass, we is not on our ass. It's a cushion under it. It's a cushion. Right. You dig what I'm saying? But it's still cushion. new. So it's like, okay, even though I did it, you still gotta understand that it's rules and regulations and to the shit. Right. He's a blood, sweat, and tears. With that being said, you can't change the fact that the more you do, the bigger the cushion gets. Oh, no, no, most definitely. Yeah, but okay. also to understand to that nature is, they gotta understand, they gotta have that same drive for the shit that they do. You dig what I'm saying? Like, for example, if my if my daughter, right, my daughter, if she wanna chill, okay, daddy can't chill. Thank you. I don't know nothing about cheering on nothing on nothing. But these are the walls that I broke down for you that I didn't have like that. You dig what I'm saying? These are the walls that I broke down for you. You say you want to chill, whatever you need to chill is covered. Okay? When I wanted to play ball, it was more so, shit, I don't even know if I'm going to make it in time to get the sneakers. Mm. I don't even know if I'm going to make it in time to goddamn to even have a jersey. Right. You know what I'm saying? I broke down them walls where it's like, okay, you want to chill today and you want to play soccer tomorrow. Well, goddamn it, we gonna get all the shit for chilling today, and we gonna get all the shit for soccer tomorrow. See, them the walls I break down, but the walls you gotta break down is continuing the path on becoming successful in cheering Absolutely. and in soccer. But the only, but the, the, the drive that you gotta have is the drive that you see daddy doing with the shit that he doing. You see what I'm saying? So those are the walls that I'm saying they still got to no, go you, through exactly. the But that's the thing, like, what what I'm, what I'm, my goal is, is I don't give a fuck what my daughter want to be. If she tell me, Daddy, I want to be a rodeo clown. God damn it, we're going she, to we're get going the to clown, be a rodeo clown. we're going to get it. That's what we didn't have growing up. Like, what the dreams that you had to aspire to with me growing up was very limited. You, well, nigga, you going to get a job. It was no, oh, I'm going to do this, that, and the third. This or that. Y'all ain't never heard get of that. This or that. Get the fuck on. So I don't want that to be the reality of what my child had. I don't want no limits to be placed on anything mm -hmm. that she got going on. So anything that I can do to make her path easier, because we all in the race. Mm -hmm. But we start the race, nigga, three, four, five laps behind everybody else. We start else. the race in a different arena. Exactly. So yeah. basically, all matter of fact, we're not even in the race. That's what we doing. We right. competing, you know, doing it's all the things that we're doing now it's to get our family name it's in the, the race. Olympics. We still running. yeah, we trying to it's get our marathon. people's name in the race. Yeah. Like the Bean last name will be created by what I'm doing. Not that anybody in my family before me didn't have aspirations to do great things, mm -hmm. just didn't fall like that. 
So now I have the responsibility to create a blueprint. We don't have no blueprint. We're creating a blueprint as we go. We don't have nobody that's saying, hey, young nigga, do this, do that, and do this, do that, and do that. So we going through the process of figuring it out. And that's the thing. That's what I mean when I say I don't want my daughter to have to go through what I went through or work as hard. Because having to figure out this blueprint, you know all the shit we go through. I don't want her to have to do that. I just want her to be able, like you said, focus on soccer and motherfucking shit. That's it. But you ain't got all, to worry about it. That's the only thing I say about that. And this is what I just come to realization with. The blueprint is called life, baby. That blueprint is called life. Yeah, but that's but this is the thing. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be hard because of the foundation you laid out. You dig what I'm saying? It's just gonna be things she gonna have to figure out on her. Yeah, life. I ain't talking about those things. Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about the life shit, the relationship shit, and all that shit that she gonna have to go through as a, a human being. I'm talking about the access to where when you come in and somebody say, oh, you're Chico Bean's daughter. No, that's what I'm saying. Those are the walls we broke down that's for what, them that's to it. have. I don't it's want on that. them to continue to break in the walls down. Yeah, they need. But that's our job to make them worth motherfucking doing that. But this is the thing. Okay, now, now for example, do, do what I'm saying, right? Like for example, I broke I broke down the wall. You know what I'm saying? For for my nieces and nephews to do what they want to do. All they gotta do is go to school, get a job, stay out the way. You gotta break them walls down. Right. But Uncle but, John but, can't go to your school you this, talk though. to your dean. I can't do none of that. Was that not the same option that you was given as a young nigga? Go to school, get your grades right, and do good? Right. Them the same rules but that you know we what, was but given you know what it did. Children. But you know what it did? No but you know what it did? Only reason why I didn't pay attention because when it was given to me, that wasn't being shown. Because it was time. exactly, it was nothing okay. around you to reflect. But this, that but this is what I'm saying. But this we ain't got saying. no lights in this moment. I got, I got to the point. I got to the point where it's like this. It's like this. Yeah. For example, of a, a, like you said, a, 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 a stability of comfort, right? My family didn't have that, it. so it's like I'm going to school. I'm going there for what? What am I doing? I ain't. I only know who, who I am first. Okay. Now you got me. I'm just stability of comfort. You dig what I'm saying? Nephew, you, you what you what you what you what you tripping on? You need some money? You need some money. You you, you down bad, you need some money. Cause there were times when I was down bad, I ain't had nobody to go to. You can easily call me for five, six hundred dollars. What you gonna do with You only know how to you don't talk to people. You don't even know what you're gonna do. You got to go out in the world and I don't, I can't do that for you. But that's what I'm saying. You dig what I'm saying? What I'm saying is the world that that, that your nephew got to go out in ain't the same because DC Young Fly is uncle. That's what I'm you trying know what to saying? tell you. It ain't the same. They ain't got to figure out the same shit we had to figure but, but, out. But no like, he ain't got to figure it out, but he got to figure it out because he got to figure it himself. You see what I'm saying? Like, okay, you can call on me for a thousand. Cool. That's nothing. But I couldn't call on nobody for a thousand. That's a different outtake. You dig what I'm saying? My, can nobody buy me a car when I graduated from school? Exactly. I got you one. So that's what you. But then the thing though, the motherfucker sitting up with no insurance, that wasn't me. But let me ask you this then. Well, you dig what I'm saying? Look at that whip. That bitch had insurance by two o'clock. But can you expect a person like that that has that level of uh, access to see the world with the same intensity that you saw it with? Then my daddy was dead. Nigga was dead, bro. I ain't had no option. Okay. So everything I had to do as the man in my house, I had to figure out in the streets. If I have a son, that nigga not going to have to figure shit out in the streets because that's not going to be the option that he has to take. He don't have to go out in the streets like I went out in the streets and fuck around. Look, nigga, you ain't got to do that. This is where you need to go. Now, if he choose to say, all right, well, nah, I want to go over here and fuck all. That's his choice. Right. No, check this. I was just gonna say that. That's just like when you brought it back to me and you say, okay, just like you say, yo, 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 mom probably said the same shit. I'm gonna work hard so she go be in the street. My mom probably said the same shit. I'm gonna, work, I'm gonna work twice as hard so my son can't be in the street. It was just some stuff mama couldn't. You just, even though she laid a foundation, my mama got a foundation, we got a house. I really, and to be really 100%. Understanding where people come from, I ain't have nothing to worry about. Even though I stay in the hood, I got a roof over my head, I got clothes on my back, food in, your stomach. Food in my stomach. Well, I should be thankful you, every day. That's you know what I'm this, saying? This, this, I've been sitting back people, but see, my whole the whole thing y'all was saying though is like, just imagine where I came from, Mississippi, where I had to look around everything that I knew and say, I don't want this. 
So I'm li- I'm going through my life looking, going through the motion like, I know I don't want this. I know I don't want to be here. I know I'm not going to. But I'm not knowing what the rest of the world got to offer because I ain't seen it yet. But the crazy part about it. So I just had to say, I really just had to, uh, like, abandon, abort my whole entire existence. So look, so check this out right though. But even, even with that being said, though, even though I probably said I didn't want this, it did this began it became so long that it was just part of life. Right, like for example, like I the trip that I took my daughter in that morning, right? They gonna remember that for the rest of their life. It's gonna have an impact. It's gonna have an impact because that is that's not gonna be something that they can be impressed with. That's dry. You're not gonna be able to impress my baby with a trip somewhere that's nice because that's old shit. That's so all of those, that's what I'm saying. When they get when she get out in the world, the same things that cause us to say even though we got the food on our back, stomach, everything good, that still made you go, ah, I'm still gonna jump over here. That ain't even gonna be in their mentality because it's like, oh, this is just this what this no not worth it. Yeah, it ain't even worth me doing none of that. I know I can go over here and do this because I done did it before. And that's what we doing. Your daughter that's ain't been smart enough. Your daughter been to Disney World already. She don't even remember. She ain't even gonna remember. I don't even remember. But it's normal. It's the, the, the level of life that we... I think the first time we went up. The level of life that we creating by doing what we doing, getting out here, is going, is going to make it like the little shit that I do with my daughter and, and making her learn how to get somewhere without using the GPS. You know, all those skills and shit, she ain't got to learn none of that. What the fuck she got to learn how to get somewhere on her own for? I got this, nigga, fuck out of here. But those little things are the shit that we instilling by us having that mentality that we talking about. But it's nothing that can change the fact that they not gonna have to live the same life. Like you're not gonna be able, gonna live, nigga ain't gonna be able to come get your baby with the same shit you was getting the bitches in your hood with. She already gonna be up on It's not gonna happen. I'm like, look, he a fuck nigga. If you say that, he a fuck nigga. Cause we know, cause we the bit the nigga. So it's like, I don't know, like I try to make sure that I have a mentality of access when it comes to this shit. That's all I'm looking for is the power. I'm more the power to be able to say, I'm me, so these people that are with me can do everything I do. I don't get fucked. These motherfuckers right here, whatever door I'm going to go through, they can go whether I'm with them or not. That's that's the that's the that's the whole purpose of what we get to when we get to that to that position and be like, look, man, but we really can make shit shape. You know what I'm saying? Like really in that position, be like, look, I take a pay cut. Like that was that was real niggas. That was real niggas say. Cause it ain't about the money. Though, just being the first generation would to be, you know, financially responsible right. we, for your entire the family. We the solution. That's what I'm we the solution. Not like, saying, you, not saying. you know how you got the the masterpiece with the millions of dollars. Then you got your children. You got got on their own millions. But it's some shit that came before the millions. Uh, but they family gonna go straight to the masterpiece. Yeah, and them fifties and them seventy fives and them two hundred generation can shit. You look up, and, yeah, you look exactly. up and you three hundred in, and you like, oh shit, we made three hundred. And that, and that's that's what I don't think uh, motherfuckers realize about what Lowe's just said about being the person that's responsible. Like you gotta think about when problems happen, right? When problems happen, you go through a, a, a different solutions in your mind, and you come up with the best possible options. Right. And when to be our family do that, family. when you the last, when you the option, when they ain't thinking about nothing else, oh, I can just go over here. That level of responsibility for a nigga makes me. I can't even. I can't. None of us. N- none of us can do nothing crazy or stupid because we ain't gonna be the only ones that have to deal with the consequences of that. Right. Nigga gonna be all on whoever page that know oh, your, your, your son's stupid or your, your cousin dumb Man, you as fuck. you got your sister living like this. Exactly. So it's like it, the whole game is different. So in regards to what we laying down now, in my opinion, all that shit ain't gonna have no effect on our children's lives. Nobody. But guess what? Where I come from, my mama grinded her ass off to the point where she ain't got to work no more. I'm going to grind my ass off to the point where I ain't got to work no more. Get to the point where I'm setting a trend of your children to take care of your parents. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But if you they don't know how to be business mom, you know, business minded people and don't understand the structure of the game, they might. Food ain't going to be in You got to be lying out there. It's, it's, it's even deeper than that, though, bro. It's like anything you do. It don't matter if you're an entertainer or a teacher or anything. If you put, if you do anything well enough to put the people who love you the most in a better position, 
to be the person that, that got your mom out there old ass car yeah. or you, you moved it to another yeah. side of town or you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, like when you start doing things that's bigger than you, it ain't about the shit that you bought or the, you know, shit that's going to come and go. Like, take what you have and use it for the betterment of your environment. Take care of your people. Exactly. Make sure your auntie go to the doctor. We'll give your little cousin 500. Whether he fuck it off or not, you know that nigga dad ain't been in his life. He buy him some joy. Whether right. he fuck it up or not, just to give motherfuckers to the, the have that experience and say, you did this, or you made that happen. Or right. my car fucked up and you you paid 700 for the transmission, I appreciate that, cuz, cuz that shit got me to Christmas, and then Christmas I hit the $3,500. You, you made other things possible for other people. Shit, money can't buy. All, and then you know what that is? You just eliminating that stress that we go through. Like that stressor. I remember being a young nigga, watching my mama walk around the living room, pacing, trying to figure out how she was gonna make Which shit work. Which one she gonna pay? Which, Which one she gonna, gonna yeah, yeah, like, just to be in a position to not have that stress be a part of your family name, where you can just, like we talked all the time, those about when our folks call us stressed the fuck out over some shit, and you be like, damn, you at that point in life where five, six hundred dollars got you great. Yeah. Lose your mind. They about to cut everything off. Yeah, but you gotta understand. Like this gonna have a real impact. Back in the day, we, that's what I'm. We saying. talking about right, right now. Exactly. Even then, but back in the day, we're crazy. But that's what I mean. We in a position now where we, we can think about it like that. No more. To make that five hundred, six hundred dollars not stress you out the way it used Let to stress us out. Let me put it in perspective. Out. It's just like. Say for instance, you got you got a cousin and she got three, four babies, right? She worked at the hospital in the cafeteria. She might pay all her bills and have three, four hundred dollars left. And she still got to pay daycare. And, you know, she breaking right even. Just enough to get to the next check. And you come through. Oh, cuz, I miss you. I love you so much, huh? Put this in your pocket. You understand? You just gave her a whole two week worth of work. You just took two you weeks worth put, of stress off her life. You just took two whole, like, you done changed the whole structure now. That she got exactly more extra money. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. A thousand of you ain't shit. You just gave your cousin a thousand dollars just because you look, because you had it in your pocket. Right. You understand? That woman would have had to work a whole month to go get that. You done changed the whole outlook of the house, the whole everything. So never been now she, she ain't never been up before. Right. Don't she know what, know what like. I don't even want to spend. I'm just gonna say it, cuz, and I'm gonna just try to use this to keep keep myself going. Man, you never know what this And then, shit. and then, like they, I know for my mother, she be, baby, you ain't got to do that. I know I ain't got to do nothing, but, but, but I'm not about to. Man, fuck that. You're not about to be stressed out about nothing that we can control. That's my whole purpose in life. I'm trying to eliminate the shit that I can control that can cause stress in my life as much as possible because the world won't give you the shit to worry about. Right. You got the world to deal with, my right. nigga. We got to go out here, it's the police. You might get hit by a car, niggas hating. You can't do nothing about that but just deal with it when it comes. But the shit that you can make a decision and control, fuck that. I'm trying to eliminate all that stress. Right. You well, definitely that, gotta bro. make sure you enjoy the shit Cause you know Just coming from where we come from I know sometimes you feel guilty About spending X amount of dollars When you know what it would've did for You know what I'm saying Cause you, hey, you man, just I understand, that, I understand right? that too man I help those who You know what I'm saying I help those I'm very, but that's I'm very kind of hearted When you that type of person though You don't hey, man. about you Listen like, here Sometimes nigga got Sometimes nigga got to strap them shoes up man You know what I'm saying Put that scoop again on man Go right in that mud man right. Grr, man. But this, but this check is outside Ooh. You ever thought about this my Swimming, nigga, man. Fuck all that crime. Ain't nobody gonna beat up. Man, plenty of tears done been dropped. Plenty. Guess what? Who had to wipe them? Me. You feel me? Listen, ain't nobody gonna wipe them tears, man. You better stay prayed up. Put your scuba gear on and dive, young nigga. You hear me? Help those who fuck with you. Most definitely. Dive, young nigga. Ain't nobody gonna come save your ass. All that's cool and lovely. Ain't nobody gonna come save you. You sitting right there crying. Get what? You crying by yourself, nigga. Look around, nigga. Look around, who hear you, nigga? Nobody. 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 Wipe that shit up, nigga. Put your motherfucking scuba gear on and go dive, nigga. And you'll get to you never know what you might find. You'll get to a position like this. I get you. Fuck all that, man. What he just said. You if, you do what, if you do what this nigga just said, you'll get to a position, nigga. Now, the shit that's stressful in my life or that may cause me headache, Seven years ago, six years ago would have been the solution to every problem I had. Every last one. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta pay three thousand dollars for flights. No, Nigga, six years ago, three thousand dollars was three thousand dollars. No, I wanna do three hundred thousand. Exactly. No, That's what it felt like. That's thirty exactly. racks. It's thirty racks. So you will never get to that point if you don't swim. You got to jump in the water, my nigga, cause don't nobody give a fuck about you, man. Period. I don't give a fuck what you think. 
nobody give a fuck about you, man. Everybody out here is using each other for something in some way. If it ain't no love there, then you gotta understand. You got to bring something to the table, young nigga. You got to bring something to the table. But when you find your family, though, you got to make sure you keep it one on. These my brothers. You dig what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? These my brothers. This ain't, I ain't named this for no chick. I just be letting that shit stack up. We do this shit. I just let it add up. Oh, we do the 85 days. We don't have a show. This shit low. Exactly. Yeah, they can't. This really they came together really organic. <laughs> you can't. You can't put nothing like this together if you don't do what he did. You know how we met in the ocean, swimming. <laughs>